What's up, tubers? Dirty Diesel here. Just uh, doing a little video on the fuel line that crosses over the valley of the engine. Apparently, this one went bad. I can't, it looks like crack somewhere, like right. I'm trying to focus. This camera's a POS. Sorry, guys. But it's somewhere right here, I think. It looks a little lumped and it's rusty. So, and then that fitting looks pretty chewed. But it's 20 years old, so what do you expect? So this is about um, Ford dealership too. I looked on eBay and people were selling this for $70 used. And who's to say it's not gonna be broken also. So I called up the uh, Motor City Ford dealership in my town and it was $20.85 for a new part with the O-rings. So let me show you where this one goes. You see how they're kind of pointing the same way? They're pointing that way and that way. That's how I figured out which one it was because at the Ford dealership, apparently on the schematics, this is forward. So that's the left head and that's the right head. So when you're looking at the um, schematics of it, it's kind of hard to notice, but I already replaced this one. This one goes to the um, right head in the rear. It goes back, back there. And it's common for them to, right as it goes down and right there, they get pinched by one of the stock mounts that are in there and they start leaking. So I changed that one like maybe a year ago. And these are the fuel lines to the head. This side is the easy side to get these fuel lines here. That's the normal one you're going to get it at a uh, Checker or O'Reilly. But this is the one I had to do this time. And it hops over and down through the valley back there and comes back up right there. And it was a pain in the ass. I recommend uh, taking your battery off, um, you know, your negatives off your battery so you don't charge yourself. That's just being honest. Um, for some reason I had buildup in the valley down there of fluid and I wasn't sure if my injection pump was leaking or what was going on, but it was that line because now it holds better fuel pressure. And you know, this side, this is the number eight injector back over there. So that one's the long lead injector that gets starved. So, um, it's important that that have good fuel. And I think I was running low on fuel on that head because the, the fuel gauge, which is right here, I'll do a video on it. That's the sensor. It, it tells me that it's fluctuating. It was going from 50 to 38 or something. And now it's holding that 47 or 50 something. So um, pretty happy with it. I don't have any leaks and I recommend going to your Ford dealership to get any of these fuel lines if you have to get them. Get original Motorcraft, they're real cheap. All right, 30 diesel out, y'all.